Nice play by Mia Brickley. Dumps it off to Erica Stauffer. Centers it for Smith, and that's a goal. Sammy Smith, number 19 on the season with 27-10 left in the first half. And that was anything, and now she's making a statement here, and she's getting around the defense, and she's making plays happen. Kendall Brown puts it in. Sammy Smith, another one. 2-0 Keene State. That's goal number 20 for Sammy Smith. Ardente to Brothers for Kendall Brown. Wax at it, and it finds the back of the net. 3 nothing Keene State, just like that, 23-28. And, and it was the engine giving them the opportunity to take possession, to take control of this game. <laughs> this time it's Marita Brothers just putting that one in. 4 nothing Keene State. The onslaught continues. They're, they're definitely showing the little spark in defense trying to make these stops. Oh, that one just goes under the legs of Chapel and finds its way in the back. It's 5-0 Keene State. We'll get you who scored that one in just a moment. Sammy Smith, nice job poking it down. He puts it on, and it finds the back of the net. That's another goal for Sammy Smith as it went off of the leg pad of Chapel. And in, 6 nothing Keene State. That's goal number three for Smith. Jensen Dandino leading the pack, gives it off to Brittany Cardente. Keene State's got another great chance to score right now. Cardente in the corner trying to center it. And she does for Dandino working against it. And there is Stoffer puts it in. That's Stoffer's third goal of the game, number 13 on the season, 7-0 Keene State. And Jensen Dandino trying to get by one defender. She does. And Chapel comes away and kicks it away. That's put on, and there's a goal for Hannah Cook. That's her first career goal. It's 8-1 Keene State with a minute and six left. 